In this video, if i n is equal to the integral of x times log x to the n dx, show that i n is equal to x squared over 2, log of x to the n, take away n over 2, i to the n, i n minus 1. Hence, find the integral of x log x cubed dx. OK, so um, using integration by parts on this, you've got to remember the late formula. So remember, L is the choice of uh, u here. So we would pick u is equal to the natural log of x to the power of n and have dv by dx as the x. So du by dx is going to be, now differentiating this, the derivative of the inside comes outside, which is 1 over x. The n is going to come down to the front, so we'll have n over x and then take 1 from the power. And here, dv by dx is x, so v integrates to 1 half x squared. So i n will be equal to u times v, so 1 half x squared log of x to the n. Take away the integral v du by dx. Now we've got the 1 half times the n over x there. Um, so we're going to have uh, n over 2x, but we're also multiplying by the x squared. So it'll actually be n over 2 times x log of x to the n minus 1 dx. So I can write that as x squared over 2 log of x to the n. Bring the n over 2 outside of the integral, like so. And of course, then recognising that the integral I've got here is the same as i n, but with the n replaced with n minus 1. So we've got i n is x squared over 2 log of x to the n, take away n over 2 times n, sorry, i n minus 1, uh, which is what I needed to get to there. OK, so hence find the integral x log x cubed. So that would be when n is 3. So we're looking for i3. So substituting 3 into this, we're going to get x squared over 2 log of x uh, cubed. Take away 3 over 2, i2. OK. So we've got x squared over 2 log of x cubed, take away 3 halves of i2. So substituting in n is 2 now. x squared over 2, log of x squared, take away 2 over 2, so 1, lot of i1. So let's simplify this. We've got x squared over 2, log of x cubed, take away 3 quarters, of x squared, so 3x squared over 4, I could write that as, log of x squared, uh, plus 3 halves of i1, so substituting in n is 1 into this, so let's go on to the next line. So we're going to have x squared over 2, log of x, take away 1 over 2 of i0. Uh, so we've got x squared over 2, log of x cubed, take away 3x squared over 4, log of x squared, plus 3x squared over 4 log x, take away uh, 3 quarters of i0. So go back up here, and now we've got the integral of x dx. So, final answer, x squared over 2, log of x cubed, take away 3x squared over 4, log of x squared, plus 3x squared over 4 log of x. Take away, now add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so 3 eighths 
3x squared, or 3x squared over 8, keep it in the same format as the rest of it, plus a constant of integration c. And so that is the integral required.